Good morning. This is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald, and it is Tuesday, November 21st, and here's a little bit of what's going to be in our newspaper today. A man who was shot in Moses Lake early Saturday morning is reportedly refusing to cooperate with police as officers investigate the incident. At about 2.05 a.m., the Moses Lake Police Department received a report of shots fired in the area of West Hill Avenue and South Division Street. Officers responded to the area but stopped two and stopped two vehicles, but the occupants of the vehicles claimed they did not know anything about shots being fired, according to police records. After officers had cleared the stops, they were reportedly approached by a 23-year-old man who said he had been shot. The man reportedly refused to cooperate with officers and was transported to Samaritan Hospital in Moses Lake for treatment of a non-life-threatening injury. Police believe the evidence gathered from the scene indicates that shots were fired from a vehicle at several homes on the dead end of West Hill Avenue at Ashley Way. Evidence reportedly points toward people in the area returning fire on the vehicle. Police reportedly recovered shell casings from three different guns at the scene, and if you have any information on the incident, the Moses Lake Police Department wants to hear from you. Contact them at 509-764-3887. A Royal City man entered guilty pleas on Monday in connection with a 2015 shooting at a Royal City business that left one man dead, person dead, and another injured. Eduardo Ibarra Valencia pled guilty in Grant County Superior Court to second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. Each of the charges includes a firearms enhancement. The second-degree murder charges carries with it a standard sentence between 12 and 20 years. The attempted second-degree charge is a standard range between 9 and 15 years. The firearms enhancement carry five-year sentences apiece. Sentencing was set for January 22nd as the Department of Corrections completes its pre-sentence investigation report. A man was seriously injured in Moses Lake Sunday night after he exited his vehicle to retrieve a bag of trash and was struck by another vehicle. At about 6.45 p.m., an 82-year-old man was reportedly driving on South Pioneer Way when a bag of trash fell out of his car. The man reportedly parked his vehicle in the turn lane in the 700 block south of Pioneer Way and got out of the vehicle to grab the bag. And it then was reportedly hit by a 2009 Subaru, Subaru Impreza driven by a male teenager. The victim was transported to Samaritan Hospital in Moses Lake for treatment and was later transferred to Clamfluence Healthcare, Central Washington Hospital in Wenatchee. Police reports indicate that the victim is in stable condition after the accident, but had received serious injuries. And finally, it was a rainy, soggy, cloudy Monday morning, but the volunteers, volunteers manning the Thanksgiving basket drive through at the Moses Lake Food Bank didn't seem to mind. There was plenty of goodwill going around to counteract the bad weather. People were really appreciative today. Really appreciative, said Mary, said Mary Harrington, who's on the Food Bank Board of Directors smiles on their faces when they came through. Each year the food bank distributes Thanksgiving baskets on the three days leading up to Thanksgiving and traditionally Monday is the drive through day. Food bank customers can pick up the elements that go into a Thanksgiving dinner without getting out of their car. And For 2017 that meant chickens for the main course, bags of potatoes and onions and along with eggs and bread. It's a wonderful time to give out food, Harrington said. She quoted a remark from one of the recipients it's going to be a lot better Thanksgiving now. Well, for details on these and other stories, please check out our website, www.columbiabasinherald.com, or buy the paper. It's only a dollar. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow.